A 40-year mystery solved. One of John Wayne Gacy's victims is now identified. CBS 2's Jim Williams tells us who he was. For more than 40 years, Lori Sisterman wondered what happened to her younger brother, Jimmy. He's a CEO of a company and he's sitting in, you know, Jamaica sipping, you know, Mai Tais, you know, and, and he's rich. Then her thoughts turned grim. He fell down and he hurt himself and no one's found him. This week, Cook County detectives traveled to Minnesota and told Sisterman and other family members Jimmy was murdered, likely in 1976, by John Wayne Gacy. When he first said it, I'm sorry to inform you that you're, it, it is victim 24 is your brother. Um, I, I was stunned. James Byron Hockerman, born in Chicago, raised in St. Paul, Minnesota, left home for Chicago when he was just 16, seeking adventure. When investigators began digging in the crawl space under the home of John Wayne Gacy. In 1978, Jimmy's body was found between two other victims in Gacy's crawl space. He was killing so many people that he was burying people on top of each other. As authorities learned the names of most of Gacy's 33 victims, Jimmy's remains were not identified because the family had no dental records. But years later, after advances in DNA evidence, the Cook County Sheriff collected a sample from Jimmy's jawbone that had been buried in a cemetery. So when we went to try to do this, we had to go find the mandible bones, which was a very, very difficult, unpleasant experience. They had a match with DNA from Jimmy's family members. My daughter was crying and other people, and you'd think I'd be crying, and I did eventually, but I, it just hit me. His family is making a headstone for Jimmy's grave. We'll actually put his name, James Byron Hawkinson. Victim 24, unknown no longer. In the first week of August 1976, Jimmy Hawkinson called his mother to tell her he had arrived in Chicago. His family never heard from him again. Six Gacy victims are still unidentified. Rob and Erica Sheriff Tom Dart is urging anyone out there who wonders whether or not they might have a family member who's a Gacy victim mm. to provide a DNA sample. I'm, I'm, I don't know that people know how much work the Sheriff's Office Absolutely. has done years and years and years That's later right. doing this painstaking work and as the Sheriff said, unpleasant work. Very, up at, he said, the bones that were collected were like they were in a chicken basket. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. For decades, this family didn't have answers. And finally, it has to be mixed emotions to have at least some sense of closure. You know, we have that, uh, that term closure. Yeah. But it brings another level of pain, knowing right. that he suffered. He was 16 years old. Mm. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jim. Mm -hmm.